just waiting for the right time. Okay, John Mayer. Well, she's waiting, and she's not going to wait forever. Don't get too drunk before the party! Yeah, yeah, I think I, I, I just just fell. Yeah. No, that's a mark, huh? Yeah. Connor, by the way. But Graham. That's good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it should be good though. I think I have some band aids in my car. Oh. Oh, you don't have. To. Okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so bad news, I don't have any bandages in my car, but um, my apartment's right over there. I think, I think I'll be all right. It's, it's really fine. I no, I insist. Okay, come on. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you.
Happy birthday, dear Bud Hill. Happy birthday to you. Oh, pathetic. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get this party started. Let the birthday boy eat his damn cake, Cassie. <laughs> You're right. I just haven't been drunk in so long. Okay. I just, been I just wanted to say so I'm long. really sorry I can't make it later, almost but like I think Connor was so tough that people died. Well, that's okay, they didn't die, but...
I, I, I got it. Thank you. Do you want anything to drink? Uh, 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 sure. Water? Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a miracle. I don't think that you'd be able to walk again. How does it feel? Uh, it's fine. Thank you again for the help. Yeah, of course. Here. Thanks. So, where are you from? Uh, the, the Washburn Apartments, like three Washburn. blocks away. Wait, wait. <laughs> the Washburn Apartments, isn't that the place with the, uh, the rats from last summer? Yes, yes, it is, gotcha. unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's true. <laughs> Sorry for laughing. No, oh, no, no, it's fine. It's fucking gross. Yeah, um, wait, isn't that also where, um, the place where, um, oh, one second. Sorry. No, that's... yeah. Oh, it's my mom. Sorry. Oh. Hey, mom. What's up? Wait. Wait, what? How? Okay. Well, did you tell him? Okay. Um... Yeah. I'll... I'll deal with this later. Um... Yeah. Okay, bye. Uh, any anything I can help with? Oh no no no! Sorry, it's just some uh, family stuff. It's fine. Um, I was just about to go, anyways. Okay. It's nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you again. That yeah. was great. Of course. Alice, can you get that? Mm. Oh, here you go. Oh, hey, Dolly. Sorry, I left my coat here last night. It's my mom. She would absolutely murder me if I lost it. Welcome back. Don't you look great? I didn't expect any guests this morning. Is that girl still here? What girl? The one you were absolutely devouring last night. Literally everyone saw it. Grace? Yeah, no. Uh, she left last night. Seems like you guys had a lot of fun. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> what are you doing today? Uh, other than recovering from this hangover, nothing. Do you want to get lunch? Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Perfect. Go cover your nips. We're leaving at five. Alright. 
So how'd you meet Grace? Uh, not too long ago, actually. Uh, Alice, one of her friends was having a pool party and uh, she was there and we hung out. We, we started talking. She, she's really cool. I like her. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we've hung out a few times since then, including last night. Is that why you were so nervous? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why I get so nervous. I, it's young love. It's beautiful. But she is super attractive, though, so that's a plus. <laughs> yeah, totally. How about you? You got anyone? <laughs> Slow down. This isn't a date, if that's what you were thinking. But no, I'm too good for this town. Men are fucking useless. No offense. None. But None taken. Yeah, I'll worry about that another time. For right now, they're just fun to play with. One day, I'll move out to Paris, and I'll live in a beautiful apartment with a balcony overlooking the Eiffel Tower. And I'll sit out there in the mornings, and I'll watch the sunrise. I'll drink tea, eat incredible food that I'll post every day to make my haters rage. And maybe I'll meet some nice French guy named Pierre Remy. Like the rat? My dream life, not yours. Sorry, sorry. But this boy is gonna be perfect. Nothing less. He'll come over every day and we'll turn on the radio and listen to some oldies and dance in the kitchen. Like we're the only two people left in the world. We'll never get sick of hearing each other's stories about what happened that day or what we're gonna do the next day because with each other, looking into each other's eyes, that's the only place we want to be. That's, you know, that's amazing. I know, thanks. <laughs> okay, we should do this again, you're fun. I agree. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon. See you, Dahlia. <laughs> Are you seriously still dying in bed? What the hell are you on this morning? Usually you're dying right next to me, and then we play rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and you make me mimosas. Well, Dahlia came by earlier. Uh, she forgot her coat or something, and then we went out and got some food. That's cute. What did you guys talk about? Just... Uh, things. Stop. 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 Okay, fine. Don't tell me. Are you seriously getting offended? Please leave a message for Alice after the beep. Beep. How long do we have to stay there? Forever. We're moving. Seriously though, if you keep complaining about this party, I'm gonna get pissed. I know, I know. I just don't know anybody there. Jackson's going. No, no, not not bug collector Jackson. <laughs> He's the kid uh, who brought the bug to class last year. Oh, absolutely not. You're gonna be fine, champ. You know, if he brings a bug, I swear to God, I'm leaving. I'm going to. <laughs> so, uh, why isn't Cassie coming anymore? I guess she's on some boat with this guy she just met. Ooh. You know what they say about the summertime. Oh yeah, if, I mean, if a guy has a boat, you gotta go. You I don't blame my one bit. Oh, absolutely. A man with a boat? I hope he's the one. I mean, if he's got a boat, he is the one. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time that Cassie tipped off the side of the boat last year at camp? Yeah, she's always a fool, <laughs> making a straight up fool of herself. Maybe we'll find you the one today, Graham. Who knows? Oh yeah, all the pretty babes and bikinis. Find your soulmate. Jackson, for one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually sleeping right now? No. We are at a party and you're asleep. No, no. Get up, Graham. No. Get up. No. Hey. Hi. 
okay. Do you want to get going soon? Right now? I mean, like, I'm um, having fun. Can okay. we just a little walk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Sorry. It's fine. I, um, I think I'll survive. I'm Grace. I'm I'm Graham. Wait, are you serious? Somewhere you are, Nick. You really gave the entire team chicken pox, totally sabotaging any chance at the championship. Yeah. That is incredible. Yeah. You're pretty cool, Graham. You are too. Graham, Mama's drunk, and I want to go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my cue. I can make that happen. Sure. So is Dahlia coming or what? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm, okay. No, uh, Where is the dragonfly bracelet I got you? I, I, I made you? I lost it, I don't know. It just, you lost I didn't, it? I you know we spent like 50 hours. Hey. Hi, hey, hey, what's up? She just got back from my new tattoo appointment. Oh shit, wow. look at that. It's Damn. really so pretty. Thank you so yeah. much. I like it, why the dragonfly? Well, you know my cousin Connor, he's like going through a hard time right now. And we just kind of talked about like the dragonfly and how transformative it is. And that really resonates with me. And so we scheduled these appointments and, you know. Wow. That and it looks cool, right? Yeah, and it looks pretty cool. Graham, I heard you hung out with Dahlia the other day. Didn't? Yeah, she, she got me so hungover. I was, I was dead. I was. She yeah, I love was her. Yeah. She's so sweet. You're going to get along so well with her. Yeah. So how's Grace? Uh, I haven't seen her since the party. Why's that? I don't know, I've been busy. Busy? Busy with what, you were 21. This isn't the time to be busy. What's up? Okay, all right, come on, come on. Ever since I was in high school, it's always been my favorite thing to just come down to the ocean and admire how big the world is around me. For a moment, I feel so infinite, yet so small. At the same time, all of my thoughts and my anxieties just seem to be absorbed by the ocean and the sky. And I let go. What the hell is that? Try what? it! S screaming. Yes, try it! You try want me to it! Scream? Yes, oh. try it! Oh. Ah! Ah! What did you feel like when you met Grace? What do you mean? Like, how did you know? It was that night at the pool. I don't know, we were talking and. <laughs> Sitting on the edge, she kept getting closer, and we kissed. No way. <laughs> yeah, but I, uh, I didn't feel any different. What do you mean? You know when people tell you about something, 
you haven't experienced yet? A feeling you haven't experienced yet or something. And you look forward to it so much. But when it finally happens, it's totally underwhelming and the opposite of what you expected it to feel like. That was when we kissed. I expected all the universe's questions to be answered and, and to understand everything. Then maybe she isn't the one. Or maybe she can't be. When I was 13, my mom told me it was just puberty. She said, don't worry, Graham. Go to bed, they're just bad thoughts. They'll be gone in the morning. But they never were. It's been eight years and they still haven't. I used to look in the mirror and the boy staring at me would be terrified. I saw a boy and on the outside, he was just like any other boy. But, but when you really looked into his eyes, really saw who he was, he couldn't figure out how, he couldn't figure out why he was different. He, he couldn't accept himself. He yearned for the validation of others. He struggled to find the right girl, and when he finally met one, he thought she would have all the answers. She would be the one. She would be the one that would help everything make sense. She would, she would be the one to make the struggle worth it. But she wasn't. She couldn't be. She could never be the one. What are you saying, Graham? I'm saying I'm terrified. Why? Because I'm scared of who I am. Or are you afraid that you can finally be who you are? What if I don't want... What if I don't want this? I just don't know what I... I just don't know what I want. I'm waiting for someone to give me the answers, anything, and... Nobody's giving me the right answers. That's because no one can figure out who you are except for you. You have to define that for yourself. You know who you are, but when it's your time, you can tell the world, or you don't. Who cares how long it takes you to figure it out? Mumu, I know. As soon as you're ready to accept the love you deserve. My thing is, life is short. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to get hurt and be confused. You're human. But never be discouraged by the hurt. It takes some people a lifetime to figure out who they are, where they're going, and who they want to take with them. Life is weird. Just gotta let yourself love. I hate this country. This culture. People stick a label after label to their bodies, to their brains, until they completely suffocate the real life person underneath. Labels mean nothing. They're just a way to generalize. We're so obsessed with fitting in that we forget that people are never one-dimensional. You shouldn't have to define yourself. You should just be allowed to be. But in our crazy, messed up world, if you're different, you have to tell everyone. I, I just don't know if I'm ready. I'm not saying you have to announce it, let alone even know yourself. But for people like Grace, you shouldn't want anyone to get hurt. 
every day I wake up, look at myself in the mirror and think, if I died today, would I be happy with how I lived? Did I live authentically? Your heart's gonna die one day, Graham, but your soul will live on. But you and anyone else won't ever be able to touch or love your body ever again. Be free and enjoy it while you can. It's your only one. I'm not home right now because I'm currently with Cassie grabbing some last minute things for tonight. I completely forgot that we moved Jess's birthday celebration to this weekend and not next weekend. So hopefully your suit is ready. Um, her and her cousin are coming over at like six. So if you could please, 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 please clean the kitchen so I don't start stress vomiting, that'd be great. All right, thank you so much. Cassie and I will be there ASAP. Okay, bye. Yeah, nice to see you again. It's nice to see you. It looks nice. Yeah, it, it is. Graham, you did a really good job with this chicken. Thank you. Uh, I what was cooking it like two, three hours okay, before. Okay, that's a lie. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know. You bought that chicken from Hannaford's. Oh my, yes, I physically bought the chicken from Hannaford's. That's true, but like, I... The I, receipt I... says cooked, oh. so... <laughs> All right. Wait, so how did you guys meet? Um, bio, right? Yeah, what, well, bio 100? Yeah, freshman, freshman year. year. Freshman year, that Cassie's in the class Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, we all had it together. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know I've known Cass for like ever. But... Yeah, right, yeah, no, that's funny. I literally met Graham the other day. He busted his ass on the train tracks. <laughs> It's so funny. Oh my god, is that why you came home the other day crying? <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't crying, but mm -hmm. yes, it was really nice. He helped me and yeah. I, I mean, I knew boo boo. Oh. <laughs> um, Jess, so for your 21st, your actual 21st, we should go to that bar on Main Street. Yeah. You know, uh, oh, right? Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes! Oh uh, my god. Do you <laughs> yes, you remember? <laughs> When you get this girl got so drunk, her boyfriend had to drag her ass off the bar because she was dancing so much. Do you remember that class? Not really. Locked out. Yep. Not, yep, very close. Yep. 
<laughs> How's your boyfriend, Jess? Uh, he's something, but not as bad as this one's ex-boyfriend, let me tell you. Happy friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my ex-boyfriend almost uh, ran me over with a bus one time, so... Wait, what? what? Yeah, he's a bus driver, so... A bus driver? <laughs> yeah, he's a bus driver! Uh, That's a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> Connor, you have to come out with us next time. Yeah, was a cool we place. have to go to a gay bar. No, I know the perfect place. Really? Yeah. We yeah. could hook him up with someone. Uh, yes. No, I'm just kind of waiting for the right one, you know? No, that makes sense. No, no sense. you just need a hook up. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, there's going to be tons of guys there. Oh, like, my God. they're going to find you. Dude, they're so really? hot. It's honestly unfair. Like, they're so hot. Like, yeah. yeah. We met and you have been. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm pretty good. How about you? Good. The stars are a beautiful thing, aren't they? Yeah. They're like little dots of light that people use to connect and make shapes and images. It's, um, it's beautiful. The human mind's a beautiful thing too, isn't it? Yeah. People get so lost in themselves lost in their lives that they forget we can just take a step back and look at the stars and realize how small we really are, how insignificant everything is. It's so easy not to follow your heart lose sight of who we are, to forget what it's like to be blissfully and brutally human. But we don't even allow ourselves to be happy. Are you happy? I try to do everything I can to be happy and to feel alive, but not everyone agrees with it. But life's too short, right? Right. You gotta come join the actual party, and we're we're getting lit over here. Hey, do you need help with any of the dishes or anything? Oh uh, no, no, I think I'm all good. No. Also, uh, do you know where the girls' coats are? Um, they're up on the third floor, and uh, it's like the first room. Do you mind just helping me? Yeah. Okay. Sure. sure. Okay. to me. When I was nine, that's when she gave it to me after my grandma passed away. I'm sorry. The dragonfly is a family symbol. That was my grandma's favorite creature and we just kind of adapted it. As I've grown up, I've seen dragonflies everywhere. On my way to school, concerts, baseball games, it's, it's just nice she's always looking down on me. Yeah, she's always protecting you. Yeah, exactly. That's beautiful. She 
You know, the dragonfly also means transformation. You're like a dragonfly. You attract positive change. On the inside, you dancing, you are capable of loving and capable of living, but it's the moment you allow yourself to dance on the outside, it's the moment you grow your wings. What if, when, what if what's on the inside is scary? Scarier than living a lie? You're supposed to be scared. You're human. Are you afraid of me? I keep telling myself. How did you know? Since the seventh grade, I started getting these really intrusive thoughts. You know, like, it was normal. I grew up listening to what other people were saying, and, and I, I knew it was a part of life. But what I didn't realize is that the other boys had different thoughts. I just thought everyone was like me. But when I truly knew, it was the day I fell in love. His name was Peter. We'd, we had been best friends since second grade. We did everything together. We played video games. We talked for hours about everything and nothing at the same time. Uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't separate us. Around junior year is when I started to recognize my, my feelings. And I knew that I wanted us to be more than friends, more than best friends. And I, and I put myself into this cycle of self-loathing and it took, me, it took me years to get out of it. I'll always remember how hard I, I fell for him and how, how much I truly loved him. And him and his girlfriend are so adorable, but I'm jealous. And I'm not jealous of them, you know? It's, it's that mutual love that they have for each other. It's just... I'll always remember how he made me feel. He, he was in my life for a reason. He helped me discover a part of myself and, and I'll, I'll forever be thankful for that. You're a beautiful human, Graham. You deserve all the love that you give the world right back to you. Oh shit. What? Oh shit, I forgot I had a date. I completely oh. forgot. Oh my god, oh my god. Can we, I'm so sorry. Can you take me back to my house? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I have yeah. no idea what, I'm, can you help me get ready? I have no idea what I'm wearing. Uh, sure, sure, Thank yeah, you. sure. Thank sure. you, oh my god, oh my god. What do I even wear to this date? Well, I don't know. Should I wear a dress? No, that's way too formal. Really? Yeah. Do you think it's too formal? Uh, what about jeans? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that works. You don't think that's not... I think okay. that's true. Okay, whatever. As if he even deserves to see me in jeans. As if he even deserves to see me at all. I shouldn't even go. No. I shouldn't even go. Why am I going? I know. Okay, sh can I... I don't want to go. No, you should. You've been looking forward to it. And I have to redo my makeup too? I'm doing too much. What? Uh, what? Why do you wear your makeup? 
They're like, why do you wear makeup? Why do I wear makeup? Yeah. Um, um, for a lot of reasons. I think it's fun. Um, I think it's a really cool way to express yourself. And honestly, the human face is already so beautiful. And it's so cool that we can just like add things to enhance our beauty. Which one should I wear? Uh, that one. This one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure? Okay. Yeah. Why do you ask? Uh, can, can I try? What? Like, can I, can I put on some, can I try some makeup? Seriously? Yeah. You want me to do makeup? Yeah. I, I mean, I have time before I have to leave. I would, right now? Yeah. I would love to. Oh my gosh, I would love to. That's gonna be so fun. Oh my God. Hey. Hey. Um, can I come in? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted to talk about the, the other night. You know that night I met you at um, the train tracks when I passed Yeah. 
um, and you overheard a phone call. Well, um, that was my mom, and um, she had mentioned that um, she, my dad found out some news about me. Um, that he's not really happy with. Um, after I dropped off the girls, um, I came back home and my dad was waiting up for me. And next to his feet were um, bags of all my things. He basically told me that I was a disappointment and um, an embarrassment and that I'm no longer his son, so I can't go back. Connor, I'm so sorry. I just, I, do, do you have anywhere to stay? Yeah, um, I've been staying with Jess on her floor, but um, I can't burden her with that forever, so um, I have some family on the west coast um, that I'm probably going to stay with. I'm trying to figure it out, but um, I've been meaning to go for a while, so. That's bullshit. He's your dad. He, he shouldn't have the right to kick his own son out. I just, just everything you've been through, just because you. Okay. I know he probably thinks I'm the devil. Uh, let me grab your towel, okay? I used to ask myself that question constantly. Who am I? I spent a lot of time expecting other people to answer that question for me. And I, I never thought that I'd be able to solve my own problems, answer my own questions. But now I just listen to my heart. And let it guide me. Life's a lot more fun that way. funny how much you learn about yourself when um, you listen to your heart, you discover more things about yourself. I, I try listening to myself. My heart tells me one thing and my mind tells me other. I, I never know which one to listen to. How do you know which one is right? I listen to my heart. My mind is like this massive knot of billions of like thoughts and opinions and ideas, and, but people can and will control the mind, play with it, but you can always choose to listen to your heart, you know? Your heart knows when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're scared, when you're nervous, or when you're excited. That's why heartbreak is one of the worst feelings to go through. And when I wasn't accepting who I was, that's exactly how I felt. I 
I had this horrible feeling in my heart every single day because I was something I thought this world would rather get rid of than keep some freak accident. At least that's how my dad felt, but I used to always question, is it worth it? Is this going to get better? And question if I even knew what I was doing. But the night when we kissed, everything made sense. You felt like a hand that wiped away all the tears that I ever cried. It felt like you took away all the bruises and wounds from my life and cherished them because in that moment it gave me hope. I knew it was going to be worth it when I knew. Je te laisserai tes mots en dessous de ta porte, en dessous de la mule qui charme, tout près de la place où tes pieds passent, caché dans les trous d'un temps divin, et quand tu es seul. Good morning. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll be down in a sec. Um, that was Jess. She's coming to come pick me up, so, um, but I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Um, you already gave me my answer the other night, but last night you gave me hope again, so. Um, I'm probably not going to see you for a bit, but... finding yourself, so, um, take care.
Hey, Alice, it's Dahlia. Hey, um, can you just tell Grandma to call me back? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so. Alright, thanks, bye. Hey, you good? Yeah, I'm fine. You know you can talk to me, right? Because I needed a fucking break. A okay? break from what? From you inside my head. I feel like I'm what going crazy. What am I getting in your head about? Dude, you know exactly what you're getting in my head about this fucking gay shit. You're asking so many questions. I just need a moment to. I'm think. sorry that I've just been listening to you and trying to give you advice. Yes, you know what? Your advice is shit. The fuck, Graham? Just, just go, Dahlia. G no, no, I'm not gonna. Why would I? I'm not gonna go. We've been hanging out every single day. I've been trying to help you. I Why know, are you but doing I, I know. I'm just trying to get a moment to myself. I'm trying to get away from everything. But why? Haven't you just. Because I'm scared, Dahlia. I'm scared. For 21 years, I've been living a lie. And. and, and, and I see myself changing into a different person, and I'm scared. I've built up this barrier and it makes me feel safe, but I can feel myself dying from the inside out. Do you know how difficult it is telling people who you really are? It shouldn't matter, but it does. And I appreciate you so much for helping me find myself. But I can't fall asleep every night because I, I know I'm not I know I'm not normal. But you aren't normal. Graham, who the fuck wants to be normal? There's eight billion people on this wasteful fucking planet, but only one of you. There's no other Graham with your smile and your personality and, and your passion for life and the world. Nobody gives the same love that you do. You're so special and unique. You're so beautiful. Why don't I feel it then? I've been thinking all my questions are getting answered, but they aren't, and, and, and I'm fucking tired of it. Because you're human. You're learning how to love yourself unconditionally. Your whole life, people have told you who you are and who you're supposed to love, but you're the only one who knows who you truly are. I love you, Graham, and so does Alice, and Jess, and Cassie, and everybody who's ever had the pleasure of meeting you. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that the Graham that we know is an incredible, amazing, caring friend, and we're all so grateful for you and wish you nothing but the best and we wish for nothing less of you feeling comfortable in your own skin and being the truest and the best version of yourself. There's only one life. Why waste such a precious gift by holding yourself back from it? His name is Connor. Uh, he was the person I was waiting for at the party. I've like, I've had feelings for other boys before. You know, the ones I used to just brush away. But he was different. He welcomed me and everything I was. 
Uh, or, <laughs> at that moment, everything I wanted to be. Do you still talk to him? His dad kicked him out. That night, he told me, was actually the last time I saw him. And that night, we slept with each other. I was terrified at first, but it almost felt like the universe wrapped its arms around me and told me it was going to be OK. For the first time, I was able to like fully, for the first time, I was able to breathe. I thought it was just a stupid one night thing and my life would go right back on track to being normal. But but now it all makes sense. God, all the time I've wasted. You didn't waste any time, Graham. I remember, I think it was just yesterday, me and my little brother used to go out to that lighthouse over there. And he used to think that the little light on the top was a UFO. <laughs> and I used to pretend to be an alien and chase him around <laughs> until he got tired. So, uh, what's your brother doing now? Um, he was five when we first found out that he was sick. Um, we just thought it was a virus and then a month later, I was standing, standing in front of his grave. Um, uh, I'm so sorry. It's, o it's okay. It's okay. Um, it's just hard. You know, he'll never be able to fall in love with a girl or a boy, even figure out which one. He'll never experience his first heartbreak. and be able to have a family and raise kids of his own. But it helps me not take anything for granted because you never know when one day will be your last, so you can't take anything for granted. Every second leading up to this point in our lives, we were growing. You were challenged, not only by the people in your life, but by yourself. And every day, whether you notice it or not, you were loving yourself more and more. And eventually, one day, when you love yourself the way that you deserve, you'll fly. When I was younger, I was a dreamer. Sky was the limit for me. But as I got older, I started to figure it's just not that simple, you see. Just cause you want it, don't mean you got it. What if I don't measure up? Well, hard work is given, but I hate to admit it. Sometimes it comes down to luck. Oh, I can feel anxiety is creeping. Oh, I'm awake when I should be sleeping, I hear my heart beating, will I ever make it? Sinking, how do 
I fight back the doubt? Why don't they teach us taxes in school? Come in. Hey. Uh, hey. Are you busy? Let me take a look at my very, very busy schedule. No? What's going on? You remember how I told you uh, to tell Dahlia that I was going home this weekend? Yeah? What happened with that? Yeah, I've just been thinking a lot. Going through some shit, you know? And, uh... I don't like Grace as much as I thought I did. Okay. Have you told her that? Uh, no, actually. I'm gonna pick her up this afternoon uh, to talk to her. Okay. Um... I thought things were going well. Uh, they, they are, believe me. But, uh, but, Alice, you, you've been my best friend since, uh, for as long as I can remember. You've seen me at my best and my worst, and I just, I never want to lose you. Graham, you're never going to lose me. I, I know, I know. It's just, I'm scared because of the person I am. Graham, what's going on? Alice, I'm... I'm... gay. Graham, you're my best friend. I could never hate you. Especially not for something like this. It's who you are. All I want is for you to be happy. You deserve to be you. I love you. Love you too, Alice. Get out of my room. I'm gonna start crying. It's okay. Thanks for picking me up. Yeah, of course. What did you want to talk about? Um, so, I'm going to be straight up with you. You're a wonderful person. But I can't do this anymore. And it's something I've been battling with on the inside my whole life. And especially over the past couple months. I like men the way I'm supposed to like women. And I, I, I'm sorry for dragging you along through all of this. It's, it's been so much. So the party meant nothing? No, 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 that was an incredible evening. That, that was, I just, you were kissing a different person, a lost person who was trying to find themselves. 
As much as this hurts, I'm proud of you. Huh? As much as anyone in my situation tries, there's nothing we can do to change it. You nor I can change it. Falling in love is one of those things that makes life worth it. Taking that away from somebody just because a society tells them they're invalid, it's a waste. A waste of a beautiful heart capable of doing so much. Unfortunately, so many people live their lives never fully as themselves. They aren't happy, they marry the wrong person, they live an unfulfilled life. Graham, I've only known you for a few months, but from the moment I met you, I knew I wanted you to live an exceptionally happy life. And even though I can't help you in that way, I really hope you keep me along for the ride. for Jess and my week or my work gave me a week off so just took advantage of it and rolled with it uh, how long are you back for until tomorrow I'm heading back soon so well uh, how do you like the West Coast so much better honestly <laughs> Um, I found a job next to my apartment, so it's been pretty convenient, but, um, it's a lot warmer there yeah. than here. <laughs> How are things with you? Pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been busy. Uh, a lot of change, I guess. It looks like your knee's getting a lot better too. <laughs> <laughs> you seem a lot happier too. Yeah. I finally started finding myself. You know, I never thanked you, Dahlia. I never thanked you for helping me. What did I help you with? You cared for me. You guided me. You, you helped pull me out of this messy place I am in my head. You, you taught me <laughs> that it's okay to be who I am and, and that I deserve to be happy. And for that, thank you. I appreciate the gratitude, but I was only a small part. You had it in yourself the whole time. I just saw it, but I was waiting for you to find it for yourself. I love you, Graham. You're a beautiful soul in a world that's now yours. Love is such a powerful gift that we get to have. As people, we deprive ourselves from this gift so much that we end up living unhappy lives, miserable with ourselves until we're completely burnt out. Then, it's too late. And for some of us, we're still trying to find out what love is. Maybe love is about taking care of yourself, your mind, your body, but especially your heart. Maybe love shows up when you realize that the people surround you are full of love to give back. Of 
Maybe love is about letting go of what destroys you, and learning that regret is just a black hole that nobody ever wants to encounter. Maybe love is realizing that you don't deserve to. We're all put on this earth with the ability to take this love and make it into anything we want. At the end of the day, we're just people, beautiful emotions, all just trying to make our hearts fly. Golden leaves looked brown to me The world had less color without you Shapes in the sky looked plain to my eye The world had less color without you meant nothing to me the world didn't sing without you birds in the trees fell silent for me the world didn't sing without you without you Darling, I do Darling 